Now, I know this is weird. How can you wash your clothes? But the thing is, when you're camping, you don't always have a washing machine. You don't even want to use your washing machine so much. The little one that I've got hardly takes anything and it uses 60 litres every time it does it and 40 minutes before a load's finished. With half that water and half that time, I can do an entire week's worth of washing. So this is what I do. I use warm water because I'm not a masochist and it's bloody freezing. The um, So I have a half, a half of these buckets, if joint point down to the bucket, <laughs> of warm water and I have this little tubby thing. You don't need it, you just need another tub basically and then a bit of agitation but this does it for me so it's nice and easy um, with some warm water as well but that's just plain water. So what I do, mainly for the socks and the undies, let's face it, they're the ones that need the most soap. I just get a, a soap. You can get a nice smelling soap or this is just velvet soap. A couple of bucks for six of them, they last you forever. So soak them up really well. This is the undies and the socks only really. And then chuck them in there. So I do that for all the socks. Now that's quite soapy, but I want it for the socks and the undies. I want them super clean. So, yeah, your hands get very soapy. <laughs> I get eczema and I find that the um, velvet's better for my hands. I don't have any trouble with that. So the, the better the soap, better quality, the more oil, it's not going to be very good for your washing. So make sure this is really nice and tight. I just leave this on it because it's slippery with your soap on, nice and tight, and then swirl it slowly. If you do it too fast, there's a centrifugal action thing, and it's just sitting up the top. The water's not going to do anything for you. Just a few times, one way, then the other way. Just make sure that it's well soaked up. And then I, while it sits for a few minutes, I do something else. Now by the time you get to your shirts and things and you've already done socks and undies, that's quite soapy. So you don't need to worry too much. With a shirt, I'd soak it obviously. And then just do under the arms. You don't really, unless you're grotty, and let's face it, I, I people who know me know that I spill my food. So then you would soap up in, um, um, on the grotty spot as well. This gets more things out than the washing machine. You can put stain removers, all sorts of things, but a little bit of soap, a little bit of elbow action, you will be surprised. So then you soap that up, just a little bit under the arms, and you would do a few of those. Um, so let's pretend that I've done a few of those so that the video doesn't last too long. I will do this again. So it's been sitting in the water for just for a couple of minutes. And then I undo it. And the water's about here. When I take things out, it's going to lower down. But I put water in using the water from there. And that doesn't get low because it's very hard to squeeze water out into here. So I go here and squeeze out as hard as you can. And that puts the water back in there. And then I just put it into the tub and I would hang them out. The, um, as you get further down, so once I've done the undies, the socks, maybe a couple of the tops that need extra soap, this is soapy enough. I get eczema, as I said, that's more than, um, more than enough for me. I, everything gets clean and it's, um, um, and I don't, I'm not affected, but if you are, you might want another fresh water tub to rinse, but I find that that's not a problem. Once I've done the first two loads with the socks, the undies, and a couple of the grottier tops, I don't use soap again. This is soapy enough then. There's no point in getting extra, extra, extra soap. So, um, 
and then with the jeans and and the heavier tops um, they they're hard to soap up anyway and you don't have to worry so once I've done this load I let a load soak in here let a load soak in here while I hang out the first load then do this squeeze it out put it in there put that in there soap another lot swirl that and let them sit again while I do a load that way everything is perfectly clean in half an hour I can do an entire week's washing and depending on the weather it'll generally be dry see ya